I'm beginning to contemplate and really feel into the nature of what I'm going to be sharing next year, 2012. And I remember maybe 15 years ago working out that I would be 42 in 2012 and saying to myself, oh, I'll be too old. <laughs> I'll be too old to be involved in any spiritual awakening. <laughs> That's so amazing. It actually feels right now that I'm, I'm peaking. I'm at my, in my prime, so to speak. So what has been coming through since a few days before the solstice? Is this very clear, very clear stream of consciousness that sings within my body the return of the divine masculine. 2011 and 2010 and before all of that, but in my awareness, in my consciousness, was two very intense years devoted to the bringing forth of the tools and the initiations to really open up, clear and heal and authentically claim the restoration of the Divine Feminine within both men and women and life in general. But 2012 Yes, this is now the turn for the masculine. And obviously, this is going to be really powerfully felt in our men, but also ourselves. Also ourselves as women, the, the inner masculine. We will be called to very meticulously be very aware when that aspect of us is shining forth and with a very gentle, fine tooth comb, begin to gently, with tenderness, just pull away the more distorted aspects of the masculine. Elements such as competition, incessant doingness, incessant claiming accumulating the desire to always want more and better, faster, more productive and of course aggression conflict control dominance, the hunt and search, and the holding on to power. I am speaking about how the Divine Masculine comes through my own self, so, you know, there will be more, more reflections, more flavours that I am unable to share with you, because they're the ones that come through strongly for me. They're the ones I'm going to be really tracking and uh, holding vigil in my own expression and experience of consciousness. So next year, 2012, we will be really bringing forward both of these paths, the, the Divine Feminine, the Womb Wisdom, bringing through the what I'm going to be calling, I feel, the lineage of light, so the, the divine masculine work, and at times putting them together for the alchemy of love, the sacred union, initiations and ceremonies that we're going to be holding. And just to share with you what is alive within me right now, as this year comes to an end. It is
this the wonderful opportunity that I'm being given to really come forward and enter into, I can't call it a relationship, it's a way of being with another, with the masculine, in this complete environment of impeccable trust and consciousness. Dearest friends, beloveds, I have been graced the most perfect opportunity to explore this work with no fear whatsoever. I couldn't have been asked for a better, as he puts it, wisdom partner. So as this, as the, as the words are coming through for sacred union, the alchemy of love, lo and behold, the one to authentically go through this process with appears. And every door is opening. Together, we are able to access every color, every frequency, every contemplation that comes through into our awareness. I call it access all areas. <laughs> Naturally, I will be sharing, we will be sharing these experiences with you so that we can map the way, learn to navigate, flag up areas of challenge and of course share with you the exquisite fun, laughter, love, passion. So just ending 2011 what do you need for 2012 I'm gonna say my two favorite words at the moment trust and consciousness and together with the most beautiful resolute courageous brave, loving, and consistent men and women that I have met all over Europe and throughout the States and all over the world in fact with the open womb and horror that we have cultivated we are so gonna give birth to the divine masculine whether they are codes or frequencies or lineages of light or the carriers of the flame, it doesn't matter. In my research, it shows again and again that it is the feminine principle, it is the feminine aspect, her energy is what births change, stages of evolution, and ginormous leaps of consciousness. I know the masculine has a huge and equal role in that. But it is the feminine that actually brings these light codes, geometries, forms, whatever, into manifestation, into the relationship, into the family unit, into the home, into the lifestyle, into the conscious choices and decisions that a human being can make on a daily basis. That is coming through the feminine principle. We all have a role to play and everything has its right place. So I'm going to be birthing like a good 
for the whole of 2012. <laughs>